absolutely amazing. You're making components that have never been seen before. Yep. What exactly are you making? Uh, we'll make patterns for the foundry industry. We work on moulds for the F1 boys, Red Bull, Mercedes, McLaren. We also work on jigs and fixturing. The fantastic thing with the designer and work MC, we're able to just keep with the guys, keep it self-sufficient, and use the full functionality of the designer and work MC system. We've come to rugby here in the heart of the Midlands to a company called Alpha Tech. Now, Jamie, you guys, you're basically prototype mold experts. Now, what makes an expert? Um, well, generally on site, we've got hundreds of years of knowledge all the way from the managing director all the way down throughout the shop floor. We've got 21 CNC machines on site and customers that are that wanting their prototype vehicle out on the road. It's absolutely amazing. You're making components that have never been seen before. Yep. What exactly are you making? Uh, we'll make patterns for the foundry industry, which generally the end customer is automotive or aerospace. Uh, we work on moulds for the F1 boys, uh, Red Bull, Mercedes, McLaren. Um, we also work on jigs and fixturing. The challenges we face here at Alphatech is the constant requirement of picking up a part, very first time seeing it, getting it through the shop, through the CAD office, onto the shop floor, onto the machine, out to customer as quick as humanly possible. That's what they're all, all we're after. Prototyping is getting it over to your customer as soon as you can. We have reliability in the CAD, and now we have reliability on our machines using the designer and work NC. The fantastic thing with the designer and work NC uh, has meant that our guys on the machines are a lot more self-sufficient now. Uh, without the requirement to be back into the CAD office, we're able to just keep with the guys, keep it self-sufficient and use the full functionality of the designer and work NC system. I'm Adam Meek, I'm a manufacturing engineer at Alphatech. What we use a CAD system for at Alphatech is laying out jobs, stock modelling, fixing uh, areas in the CAD that don't quite come in right from CAD software, mainly tweaking certain, certain things to make our lives more easier and quicker in transition between two, work NC and designer. When we're running machines overnight, the designer helps us by laying out all the jobs as quickly as we can. There, we know exactly where they are in, in relation to the machine. We can put it in the orientation of which way we, we want it. Creating the stop model, it only cuts the, the stop that we've actually got rather than just a big area of space. Uh, it could be cutting areas of space most night, but with the stop model, it's cutting continuously on just that part. So it reduces the loss of empty uh, space machining. I've been using designer for two and a half years. It's quite self-explanatory. It's quite straightforward. The, the, the team that you get to help to, to show you and learn, it, it, they're very, very good. They show you in depth and they're, they're, they're a good, good team to learn from. What I love about designer is I can put the jobs where I want them to be. They, I can create the exact stock model of the part that comes in when it's been blocked up and ready to, ready to cut, I can create that myself. And being able to just change surfaces that aren't quite right to be able to fix that so it's more of a transition to, to work and see when I, when I brought it in. And being able to, the capability of reverse engineering from a scan model of a part and to bring it in and that capability as well is, is, is very good. So because of the nature of the prototype work that we're in, we need to produce quick programs, one-offs, and lots of different types of complex parts over a long period of time. Work NC helps me do this through being able to program multiple things at the same time. I can write a single program four different ways, and then after they've all calculated, pick the best one, and then get that running overnight and I've got a good part in the morning. We do a wide range of different parts. Some are very simple, two, three program parts. Some are extremely complicated where we have 
got a couple of hundred programs to run over a job and it could take a week or two. Not only do we need to produce parts quickly, they also need to be of a very high quality because I have to inspect them on a daily basis and we want the work that we produce to be as good as it can be. The post processors helped me massively because I've managed to have a lot of input with WorkNC of how it does things and it gives me the confidence to leave some silly toolpaths going overnight and not have my head buried in the job in the morning. In the nature of the prototype work that we do, every programme that we run, we pretty much just run the once. So I have to have complete faith in the post processor and the collision checks of WorkNC, which I do. I believe WorkNC has improved my productivity quite a lot since having it because I can get multiple different things go in, I can work on multiple but different jobs without getting confused or tied up. I can just, it's very easy to transfer.